In this video, we're going to start talking about probability trees. Now, really, probability trees are just a representation of a series of outcomes. Now, if you have a look at the uh, post on matterapp.co.uk, uh, you'll see the question that we're going to be referring to, which deals with Kate going to a, a fridge and uh, taking out at random either peach or strawberry yogurt. I've also put the question uh, at the bottom of the screen on YouTube as well, so you can refer to it. Now Kate has gone along to a fridge and she's opened the fridge and she's at random closed her eyes and she's taken out either a peach or a strawberry yogurt. So it seems a very simple question. In reality, there's a very uh, important part of probability that affects quite a lot of um, the, uh, the world around us. Probability does play a very large part in real maths. So things like um, if you were building a, a bridge or a ro road, you might be looking at um, the probability of lorries using the road at the same time as cyclists or the probability of the road having a lot of traffic jams. So things like that play a very real part. So although it seems a very simple uh, question, or at least a very silly question to deal with Kate and her peach or her strawberry yogurt, it does have a very serious part behind it. So there's a couple of things you need to remember about probability. The first thing is, is that we're looking at a certain event. So in other words, Kate will go to the fridge and she's going to take out a yogurt and it's going to be either strawberry or peach. So the first thing is she's going to go to the fridge and open the fridge door. Well, the way that we represent that in a probability tree is just simply a dot. So there's our dot. And that means that something is going to happen and it's certain. So the first thing is, is that she's either going to take out a strawberry or she's going to take out a peach. Now in the question there are uh, three strawberry yogurts and four peach yogurts. So in other words there are seven yogurts altogether. So with the strawberry if there are three of them then the chance of her taking a strawberry yogurt is going to be three out of seven because there's seven available to us three of them are strawberry and therefore it will be a three out of seven similarly with the peach it will be four out of seven because there are four peach yogurts available okay just an important point with probability trees uh, sometimes the question is given to you as um, a decimal or a percentage um, it's a, usually a very good idea, I think at least, to convert things to fractions, because if you convert them to fractions, it's just a little bit easier to understand and to see what's going on. I think also, um, if you do get a fraction that could be reduced, probably not a good idea to do that, um, because you need to make sure that the diagram represents things that are happening and the different outcomes, and it's meaningful to you. Okay, so this is the first event. So she took out a strawberry yogurt or she took out a peach yogurt, uh, went off with that, sat in front of the TV for 10 or 15 minutes or so. After a while thought, that will be nice, I'm going to have another one. So she goes back to the fridge, blindfolded again, reaches in and she takes out either a strawberry or a peach. So in other words, the next outcome or the next event is independent of the first event. So if she took out a strawberry, she could either take out another strawberry or she could take out a peach. Similarly, if she took out a peach the first time round and she goes back to the fridge, she could either take out a strawberry or she could take out a second peach. However, things have changed a little bit because there's now only six yogurts available in the fridge because one of them she's already had. So the event or the probability for the second event is
is going to be out of 6, out of 6. There you go. And I'm going to write those in just to remind myself that they're going to be out of 6. Okay, so let's say that she picks another strawberry yogurt. Well, she's already had one. So the three that were in the fridge the first time round, only two of them are left. So the probability of her picking another strawberry yogurt is two out of six, because there's six yogurts in the fridge altogether, of which only two of them are strawberry. However, the peach yogurts she didn't pick the first time round, so therefore the peach yogurts, there's still four left. An important thing to note with all probability diagrams, and just to make sure that you're on the right track, is that we said before about certainty. Well, certainty in probability values is, is 1. So 2, 6 plus 4, 6 is 1. So it's certain with those two probabilities or those two chances that there is definitely going to be an outcome. Okay, so let's have a look at this branch over here. So let's say that she goes to the fridge and the second time round she picks out another peach yogurt. Well if she picks out another peach yogurt we know that there's only six because she's already had one. If she picks peach again there were four and now there are three. Okay. If she picks out, picked out peach the first time round Strawberries remained untouched, so the three strawberries that were there originally are still there. Okay, um, I hope that's okay. It does take a little bit of time sometimes to work through these things. Um, but if you draw the diagram as out of each time, then it will be hopefully helpful to you. And please do stop the video and maybe rewind it a little bit and have another look at that. Okay. So that's our probability diagram, and now it's really a case of using that probability diagram in order to answer the question. So let's look at the outcomes. Well, the outcome um, is over here. Okay. So the way the comma way of doing it is saying, well, if we follow this branch along here, we've got two strawberries, which will put us SS. If we go strawberry peach, it'll be SP. Uh, peach and strawberry, it'll be PS. And peach and peach, it'll be PP. And it's just a kind of an easy way to be able to remember the different outcomes. Okay, so if we have a look at the strawberry branches along here, um, the first probability was three sevenths, and the second probability was. Two, six. So by multiplying those together, it will give me a probability of her picking two strawberries of six forty twos. Okay. Now, if you want, at this point, you can reduce it down. Uh, it's perfectly legitimate to reduce these down to a probability of one out of seven. So, in other words, with these events happening, the probability of her getting two strawberries was one out of seven. We do the same again with strawberry and peach. So the first probability was three sevens multiplied by four six. So three times four is 12. Seven times six is 42. And that, again, I'm just going to reduce it down will be two sevenths. So there's a two out of seven probability of her picking firstly a strawberry and then a peach the second time around. Okay, so we're just going to do the same exercise for the peach and strawberry. So four sevenths for the first um, probability, three six for the second, and that's going to be 12 out of 42, which is two out of seven. Um, so it's going to be the same, isn't it? Because you've got strawberry peach and peach strawberry, which are both the same outcomes. It's just firstly, first strawberry, 
uh, first time round then peach or first peach and then strawberry, but essentially it's the same. So the outcomes or the probability of both of those should be the same. Okay, and then the last one is peach and peach. So we've got four sevens multiplied by three six, and that's going to be four times seven is twelve and forty two. And again, I'm going to reduce that down to two sevens. Um, you'll also notice, as we were saying before, that all probabilities will add up to one. Well, uh, one seventh, two seventh, two seventh, and two seventh is seven sevenths, which is the same as one. Okay. Um, again, I hope that's been okay for you. It takes a little bit of time just to work through, but maybe stop the video, rewind, and just check through. Um, what we've done here. Now the question specifically is asking for the probability of a picking uh, a straw, well the same flavour both times. So in other words a strawberry strawberry and a peach peach, okay? So the probability of a picking two strawberries is one seventh and two peaches is three sevenths. So this bit is uh, SS and this bit is BP and if we add those two together we're going to get four sevenths. So that's the answer to the question. There is a four out of seven probability. No there's not. There is a, I've got that wrong didn't I? That's a two and that's a three. Sorry about that. That's peach peach is uh, 2 over 7, 2 over 7, 3 over 7. So there's a 3 over 7 probability, 3 out of 7, that she's going to get either 2 strawberries or 2 peaches when she goes back to the fridge. I hope that's been okay. It is a little bit of a complex subject. If you visit um, mathswrap.co.uk, uh, there is a post there and that will give you quite a lot of detail. Or you can go to, um, well, you can say on YouTube and have a look at the YouTube site. And at the bottom of the site, you'll see that um, I've put the whole question in there. And also, please do comment. You can um, add comments and I will do my best to get back to you. Uh, please do post or pin or subscribe or tweet uh, this particular video. I hope it's been helpful to you and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.